Nucky and the rest of the gang are back for season two of HBO's critically acclaimed series, Boardwalk Empire. I wanted to start off with your character, Jimmy. He's really coming into his own this season, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think, I think people have, um, they're going to be very surprised and very shocked this season with what Jimmy has uh, in store. How screwed is Nucky this year? In the position that he's in, people, people want to see him either out of the way or, uh, or gone. <laughs> in regards to your character, how similar are you to in real life, would you say? Well, I would say that whatever character I play, I really pull out whatever, you know, those aspects of myself and I exaggerate them. Lucy Danziger, she's so complicated. I mean, I really created her with Martin Scorsese. She's, she's fictitious. Which was so, you know, it was such a precarious decision to write a fictitious, fictitious character because she could have just been like a floozy, you know? But I wanted, you know, no person is one dimensional. And I wanted to get, make her a multi layered, like an onion human being like as we all are so she has a lot of underlying pain and and struggles and I feel in the second season you'll be able to really tap into more of her true vulnerability and what she struggles with. And aside from uh, the inner turmoil that your character faces this season does she expand? With this? She's full of surprises. She's a uh... Margaret's a bit of an enigma and um, she surprises me. I can't wait to get each new episode like, to see what's happening next. And sometimes it's really, she behaves in a way that I'm like, you know, right on Margaret and she's very strong. And then the next episode, I'm like, no, you know, she'll, she'll just mess things up. Your character Lucky, yeah. uh, what can we expect to see from him this season? You know, where we left off last season, Lucky was um, kind of thrust into a world um, where he was trying to see if the same rules applied from where he came from. And uh, I think by the end of the season, he started finding his legs. And then we pick up in the second season where he's like feeling more comfortable in this world, but now really wants to get ahead while, you know, maintaining a sense of dignity and integrity. So um, it's, uh, it's a great part, a lot of growing pains. How familiar were you with Luciano's story before taking on this? Well, I had the benefit of uh, being able to research it for over six months from when I got the role. So I spent a lot of time reading and before I watched any other portrayals of it, and it was characterized a number of times by really great actors, I had um, uh, you know, the benefit of, of trying to research the facts. And it was before the show came out, so when I Googled it, I wouldn't get you know stuff about the show. So it was kind of helpful to kind of streamline it. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was great. Spent a lot of time and energy in that. I think it's more than about the violence, you know. I think it's a character-driven show, and that's what people respond to. Um, violence is sort of a byproduct of that, you know, of that era of uh, prohibition. Um, but if it was just about violence, I don't think it would be an interesting show.